That's all right, because we want to talk some heat raptors and don't look now. Oh, raptors. 500 again, guys. Not since December 9th have they done that. They won three in a row. Um, it's another team. Like Again, it's a lot of play and talk today, but rightfully so. You know, Chandler, do you think this Raptors team can do anything in the play in? Shock anybody? I actually do. This is a team kind of like Atlanta where they should have been a lot better this year than they are. And I feel like they're kind of just now starting to figure it out. And they have all these athletic bodies where they have guys that are 6'7 to 6'10 that can switch defensively, they can move their feet, they can guard one through five. And then they have two very good players in Fred and Siakam. So I do think they're, I think they're one of the better teams kind of in that lower echelon of the, of the Eastern Conference, but you, you can't make this stuff up. Jimmy Butler says he's going to play hard and he's, he's ready to play. <laughs> he doesn't, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> play last night and he ruins our parlay. It's, it's unbelievable how this works, but I do think the Raptors are peaking at the right time. And I think there's just like Atlanta, the, the bottom of the East, it's tough. Like there's, there's again, there's, yeah. there's nothing easy. This plan, I love the plan too. I think it's exciting. I think it gives everyone a chance. And I think the best team will come out of that and be the seven and eight seed. And, and, and I think Toronto is going to be right there for either of those. Yeah, it's, it's, Toronto's dangerous. And you look back at the trade deadline, everybody was just sure that Pascal Siakam would be on the move, that OG Ananobi would be on the move, that Fred Van Vliet would be on the move. And they decided to stay, stand pat. They decided that the picks that were being offered weren't enough. And then whatever this mystery haul they were asking for for OG with <laughs> three unprotected firsts and another guy, they they, they weren't getting that. And, and so they decided to stand pat. And yeah, they won three straight. They, this is a proven playoff team. We've seen them do this before. Now, even with three straight, they're in the ninth seed and they got some work to do. But a dangerous team for sure. Can they win a series? I, I wouldn't take them to beat any of the, the the big teams up top, and that's who they'd be playing. But it is a little scary to see them right the ship. And then you got to wonder going into the summer, okay, now what? Because we we dangled all these guys out there, we were willing to get rid of them. Now what do we do going forward? Are we going to do the reset? Are we going to are we going to cobble pieces together? And who knows? But they looked great last night. And like Chandler said. Uh, maybe maybe Jimmy's waiting until April. Maybe that's what it was. It's like April is going to take it serious, and then they're going to start there. winning games. Yeah, Almost so. there, Jimmy. Almost there, Shams. I, I, I will I will say looking at looking at these four teams in the play in Chicago, Toronto, Atlanta, Miami. Like I don't know who's going to come out. That that, the, that is going to be a really really fun plan. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not a bad plan. Good ratings, I would imagine. Shams, you're in Chicago. Uh, what do you have for us on this uh, on this Toronto squad? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually push back a little bit on Eddie. I'm gonna speak up for Ooh. Michelle right now. Jakob Pertl, they made the move to go get Jakob Pertl at the trade deadline. That was their big move. Everyone was like, yo, what is Masai gonna do? Are they, is he gonna trade OG Ananobi? Is he gonna trade Pascal Siakam? And he goes all in on this team with Nick Nurse and goes and gets a center. They've really needed a center for the last several years. Ever since they traded Jakob Pertl with DeMar DeRozan in 2019, they've needed a guy in the middle. They went out and got him. They're 12 and 8 in the 20 games that Jakob Pertl has played this year, and he's been a difference maker for them. And this is a team that was under 500. Now they're back over 500, and I think you can look at Jakob Pertl being a major reason why. And when you look into the summer, free agency, this is a guy that's going to get, I think, in the range of $20 million, if not more, per season in a new contract. So Jakob Pertl has been a difference maker. They did not stand Pat Eddie. They made a move. Shout out, Michelle. <laughs> Shout out the Spurs. <laughs> By the way, March 29th, 2023, the day Jakob Pertl is now known as the savior, is probably going to go down as one of my favorite historic <laughs> moments in NBA history. Who saw it coming? Uh, but the Miami Heat, yeah, we've mocked Jimmy Butler, and then he doesn't play. Um, but they're also seemingly doing poorly at the worst possible time. Back-to-back -back losses, Chandler. I, this Heat squad, does it feel like they're going opposite direction and at the worst time now? It does a little bit, but is, they're the they're my East Coast Warriors. They're like a team for whatever reason I trust, and, and I think they're going to figure it out, and I think they're very good offensively. They're very good defensively. They have the roster to actually be a championship contending team. They're just not, for whatever reason, putting it together this year, and obviously Jimmy is a huge piece of that. Him saying he's not trying hard and playing and then not playing. It, it, they need him in the lineup. They're, they're not a contender without him, but I do think this team – has the roster to compete this year and not just get out of the play and not just loop win the first round. This is a difficult matchup for one of those top three teams in the East, whether it's Boston, Milwaukee, or Philly. I think Miami is the most dangerous team just because of their experience, their wow. bets, they're tough, they defend. 
Uh, they have shooting. I love Struess. I love Tyler Hero. They can really shoot the ball. They can space you out. They can go on. They can go ISO. Uh, and and they defend. So I think they are the probably the the, the best position out of those teams. But like I just said, that that play in there, it it could go either way. All four of the teams deserve to be in the playoffs. Exactly what the play in should look like. It's going to be good. Uh, Shams is sticking around from Chicago. He's going to have a big time preview on the Lakers Bulls game for tonight, or as I like to call it, the Pat Beverly Show. When Run It Back returns. Run it back, run it all, run it back, run it all, run it back.